it's a new year it's 2022 and we are not going into 2022 with anything less but goals than to grow our hair i'm on a new journey to waist length and i want to take you along with me hey y'all welcome back to rock natural it's your beauty expert weekly beauty reporter here first things first we're going into 2022 with new hair goals getting rid of any myths and doing what we gotta do to reach our hair goal. So if you're watching this video and you are trying to, and you have a hair goal, be sure to leave a comment down below and let us know what the hair goal is and we can grow on this journey together. All right, let's go ahead and get right into the video. First things first, myths are myths for a reason. I know there are so many things said in the natural hair community that makes you, get discouraged about where you are on your journey and where you're trying to go but today we are debunking five myths and may start a series talking about all the myths in the natural hair community and what you can do instead the number one the first myth i want to start with is black hair natural hair curly hair cannot grow long myth i went from this to this and it's possible with all the right tools and consistency. The second myth, you need to grease your scalp. I know this is an old tale tale that growing up we used to get our hair, our scalp greased. Till this day, some people still think they need a scalp, they need to grease their scalp. So your scalp naturally produces sebum. So it's naturally oily. But sometimes it does take a little bit more to ignite the oil if there's buildup on it or if it's on the drier side. One Myth number three, you can repair damaged hair with the right products. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I have been a victim of this myth. There's so many products out there that'll say like repair, cuticle repair, etc split in repair there's nothing that can repair a split in once it is split it got to go that's why trimming your hair when it needs it is so important because we want to be able to retain that length split cutting your split ends does not necessarily help your hair grow since our hair grows from the scalp what it does is allow the hair that's already there the older hair to remain healthy so that you can retain the length that you want to get the length that you want if that makes sense so if your ends are split they gotta go honey there's no use in holding on to them they're just gonna go higher up your hair strand and also take product away from the strands that are thriving using heat on your hair is bad for natural hair if you're using heat every single day yes that is true if you're using heat once a month girl use heat once a month or not once a month <laughs> i mean you can also use heat once a month but i'm saying like if you're using heat once or twice a year and it's done the correct way then you are not necessarily causing damage to your hair i will say that over time if you're using heat frequently like i was all the time my bangs were hair fried no curls then yes damage is being done because of the continuous pull on the curls the continuous heat on the hair is damaging your beautiful curls so what I recommend if you do want to use heat this is something I do I use heat on my hair once or twice a year and that's it so when I say heat I mean blow drying flat iron and sometimes I don't even flat iron like in 2021 I think I blew out my hair maybe twice but I didn't go as far as straightening my full head i will say there were some times where i was straightening my bangs or little pieces but that was to the extent and i was not doing it for my whole head the one thing i will say i am a victim of is i will damage my bangs like 
I will damage them because I can cut them off and grow them back, period. But that's not encouraged. It's not bad to put heat on your hair. It's how often you put the heat on your hair that is bad for your hair. Last but not least for this first episode of this new series is natural hair doesn't need to be washed as often. So that's false. We're not going to be washing our hair every day, but you do need to be washing your hair at least once a week at minimum. If you're wearing a style like a braid or twist, after the two week mark, if you still have them in, you need to wash your hair. Like I said, if you want your hair to grow, the scalp needs to be clear of any buildup to be able to reach the lengths that we want to go because once your hair starts to act different and it's not absorbing the product in the way that it should then you know it's time to do some type of cleanser or something of the sort and i have multiple videos on my channel showing you how to do such be sure to follow me over on instagram because i am transforming into a straight natural hair coach online and i'm going to be providing tons of free resources as well as paid resources for you to reach your hair goals and you can also follow me along on my journey to waist length I appreciate you so much for watching this video. Be sure to leave a comment down below and let us know where you are in your hair journey and where you're trying to get in 2022 because we are thriving. And subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to check out the two videos that you're going to see at the end and I'll see you in my next one. Toodles.